Today was such a busy, busy day for me and my brother. Um, and the fact that my brother was at work and then, you know, for me it was just so tragic. Like, I know that the, na the uh, snake skin uh, black low top 11 gonna uh, gonna re-release again today because um, uh, due to the event on Saturday they had to cancel it. So I was trying my best to get it, but I didn't. I was just it was so close, you know, and I just thought, you know, it's it was sad because I I just solely wanted to shoot to wear, and then I was eating and boom, like about an hour or half an hour later, I got a text. Um, you know, Twitter notification saying that Nike store um, are restocking a bunch of Jordans, and I, I quickly just you know dropped my freaking uh, bowl. I think at the time I was eating udon, so I, so I put down my bowl of udon, ran in, you know, just look at Nike store, and um, I didn't see the retro one or anything like that. The first thing I saw was the Gamma 11 blue. And uh, I, I wanted to try my luck for that one, but I didn't get it. So I scrolled down, and then I noticed there's like a more option. Clicked on it, and you know, I was just going at it for like an hour, and I'm getting nothing. So I guess today was freaking devastating, horrifying. But um, I'll get over it eventually. You know how I am with new retro shoes. Anyway, so today we have the Jordan 11, and you can see right there, low top, and automatically, um, you already know where it is. The Retro 11 Concord, size eight and a half, retail 150, and uh, same thing, uh, same story for for this shoe. Uh, we tried on Saturday morning, end up not getting anything, so went to bed. I'm like, you know what? Forget this. I'm gonna go to bed, and then um, I end up sleeping in at seven, so I didn't get the um, Concord uh, Low 11 at Nike store either. So um, we end up going to Sacos Plaza, House of Hoops. Um, just checking out some shoes, you know, and I, I mean, I should have wear that shoe right right now, but I'm wearing the 11 High Top Concord, which I should have wear the Dunk Mans, because the Dunk Mans, I feel like it's one of the reasons why um, the worker that uh, stopped us and talked to us, he was like, yo, nice Dunk Man, this and that, and he's like, dude, that one goes hard, and I'm like, yeah, man, I, I was just cleaning my shoes, and I found those Dunk Mans. Um, if you don't know what that is, those are the sixes, I believe, the LeBron sixes Dunk Man, the very first Dunk Man. Um, colorway mainly, mainly uh, black with uh, patent leather and uh, neon green. So anyways, he was telling us that, okay, for those people that finish with the raffle, um, pretty much they'll allow a uh, time span at 9 a.m. all the way until 6 p.m. And if you were able to get the shoes at that time, then okay. But if not, then it's going to go to all those, you know, line up for first come first serve. So he, he told us to get behind the building and, you know, there, there's a line back there. So I went back there, that I, we were like number five and six, and then later on, it gets more packed and more packed, you know, and they let us in at six something, and we got that four, you know. So I mean, uh, with, without the whole process, it was kind of like a two hours, me and my brother, and then later on he had to leave, so my girlfriend took the swap. But we were not able to get a size eight and a half, but I got two size nine. And I end up, uh, um, you know, um, trading that for this eight and a half right here. So I mean, if um, the trader that helped me out with the shoe is watching this video, shout out to you, man, Jesus. That's all I can say from Shoe Game LA. All right. So this is his original receipt. I got my own too, but this is where he got it from, from Baldwin Hills, um, up in downtown LA. His location was there, and then he was, um, you know, nice enough, and for me to be fortunate enough to uh, meet halfway with him at Cerritos Mall. Okay, and uh, yeah, pretty much just 150 retail, and then his tax rate percentage was 9%, comparing to mine was 8%. So mine was like maybe like a 160 or 162, and his was a 163. So there, as you can see, and um. Pretty much just a uh, normal box, you know. I hope you don't mind me talking too much, but I mean, it's been a while since I was there, you know. Um, yeah, so this is my only pair of Concord left now. For the, the low top, of course. I still got um, one high top Concord that I'm wearing and one more dead stock. Okay, so let me show you guys. Um, the shoes 
360 view real quick and then we'll do an on feet after this video. I'm, so, I'm wearing sweatpants right now so I'll do one in short probably low sock and high socks and then I'll do one with my APC denim. Front view of the shoe, right side of the right shoe, got that black patent leather, you know your white carbon on top, same thing, carbon mesh. Back to the left side of the shoe, and then we'll do a quick top view real quick. Boom, everything on ice. That pen letter is so shiny comparing to what I have on right now because this one, we're not really taking good care of it, you know. We're rocking them, so I mean, if I, if you keep them clean and like put them in boxes, they'll, they'll be shiny for a while. Uh, this is the bottom or the outer sole. You see right there, clean, ice. Um, blue tinted. At first, I was hating on them because you know uh, they put the blue tinted on the the old retro. Then you know I would definitely hate, but on these new ones, and I wouldn't mind at all. Although I pre I still prefer the um, the clear ones. But it seems like this one has like a more darker shade of you know blue tinted comparing to this, and not because you wear them for a while. It's just how it is. And um. I'm trying to do a quick comparison. It seems like the color of the corn core remains the same. Although this might look a little bit darker, maybe because of the fact that I wear them. Um, but I mean, the jump man, everything remains the same. Uh, this is, let me show you the right one. This is both of the left pairs. Everything looks the same. Jump man pointing in the same direction. You got your same white spot right there. Carbon fibers is the same thing. It's not real authentic, it's just the full carbon fiber looks and then you, on your midsole you have this um, uh, white foamy feeling to it, crisscross pattern, same thing. Um, black patent leather, your synthetic white fine grain leather right there. Uh, black German stitching, comparing to the other left pair of the high top. Okay, You can see quite the difference right there, we don't have the big jump hand on the heels on the side heel but we have it right in the back a small one and then your 23 you can see right there overlap same pattern throughout of the low tops 11 um, but everything else is still there I mean as far as the outsole and the width and the length like everything re remains the same nothing changes maybe a little bit higher on the stitching right here the pan leather part but I like that I'm not gonna hate on that and then let me look at the inside of my retro 11 I top real quick. Uh, same theme. We still have the same tag right here. As you can see, quality basketball products inspired by the greatest player ever, Concord Jumpman. Um, the, the tags is, are, are still there. Okay, you can see. Maybe same size. Yeah, same size. Um, black sock liner, black inner sole with white Jumpman. And that's about it you guys, I mean you guys got your same pen leather connection point right there comparing to my right pair, you can see. And the yellowing process is beginning to take place on this one as you can see the, um, the color of the clear sole is slowly turning green. Um, same thing, you know, you got your Jumpman Jordan right there, Jumpman Jordan tag, 11 iconic tag with that Concord blue. Um, uh, same same location where it's being placed. If I put them side by side, you can see that I'm wearing these. We've been wearing this for a while, so you know you can see that yellowing um, off-white feel to it. This one has more like a, a, a wider looks, a little bit blue tinted. Same thing. They'll get they'll get like this later on. Trust me. Um, same location, one, two, and three. All, both placed at the same uh, third eyelid. Same lace and everything. Basketball inspired lace similar to that netting and uh, yeah that's it I'll do it non feed real quick like I said I'm wearing sweatpants right now some Nike uh, sweatpants I got at um, what is it again outlet Nike factory Nike outlet over at the block of orange or the outlet of orange um, I did the five dollars uh, you know survey thing so I mean if you keep doing that they'll give you five dollars every time and this thing I believe I got it like about two months ago I think or a month ago I got them for half off and then plus that five bucks off which is like 12 bucks good deal extremely good deal um, I'll do one with my sweats and I'll do some shorts 
uh, maybe low top and high top socks. What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the second part of Sneak On Fit 360. I'm gonna show you guys the shoe on Fit 360. Remember this is once again I'm wearing sweat, so I mean you won't be able to tell the difference. But here you go, front view of the shoe. So you can see right there I'm wearing low top. Front view of the shoe, right side of the right shoe. Back to the left. I mean back to the back of it. You see right there you jump in. Uh, number 23. Boom with that uh, jumping logo. It feels stiffer than the high top, but I mean, uh, for summer shoes, it's perfect. Just in time for the summer and spring. Yeah, I'll be right back to show you guys the shoe, which short, maybe low socks and ankle socks and high socks. What's good YouTube, I'm back to show you guys the shoe on free 360 with shorts. I'm wearing low socks with my usual favorite cargo. A cargo military camel pants. So front view of the shoe. Front view on feet 360. Back to the right side of the shoe. Okay, and then back to the back of the heel of it. Back to the left. It's getting darker, so I'm just trying to like, you know, just finish off the process as fast as I can. Alright, be right back with the um, sweatpants short. What's good YouTube? Like I promised, this is gonna be the sweatpants short. I've been getting into like a lot of, you know, sweatpants short and whatnot. They're just comfortable overall, like, they are very comfortable, actually. And they keep you warm, you know. See right there? Yeah. What's good YouTube, I'm back to show you guys the shoe on Fit360. Uh, sweatpants with tube socks or high socks. On the left, on this one, they have the, the um, Elite Series. Um, two layers that you can see. So they're very tight. And on this one, it's just a regular um, synthetic Nike tube sock that doesn't go that high. So I mean, a lot of people prefer the Elite Series. But for me, when I wear shorts, I just like to wear ankle socks. That's it. So yeah. So that's it today. Um, make sure you check us out. Rate, comment, and subscribe. We're creating a new Facebook page. We'll upload the link or put it in the description box. Make sure you check it out. The, the name of the Facebook page is going to be Sneaker Game. Orange County to Los Angeles buy, sell, and trade. So make sure you check that out. I mean, I have uh, a member at Shoe Game LA, but the thing is that it's all the way in LA, so sometimes it's harder for us, you know, which are in Orange County. So make sure you guys follow that. And um, pretty much right now, there's no lock, no restriction, no nothing. So you can post without administrator response. Um, but just to make sure you post things that are appropriate, you know, no rate price. Negotiable price always, no fake, no promotion, uh, a fake, you know, this and that, no scam, no nothing. If we spot that, we will ban you, we will remove the post. First warning, it's just going to be removal of the post and then later on it's going to be banning. And uh, check that out. And then I'm starting a fitness channel, so, you know, but it's not in English, it's in Vietnamese. And uh, pretty much not really a fitness channel, it's just kind of like a, um, a, a diary, fitness diary kind of thing. So check that out if you're Vietnamese or if you just want to watch for fun. But like I said, the whole thing going to be in Vietnamese. So I'm going to put the link in the description box as well. So uh, thanks again for watching. Stay tuned. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. Next video, um, hopefully I'm going to do... Whew, still a lot of shoes left, but I'll try my best. I can't tell you yet. So peace.